What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rookie Riches. Boy, no low. About to pull up at the warehouse I'm right across the street at the store. You know how I be at the store right across the street. You know, uh, it's Friday, October 23rd. I only got a little 8 to 12 shift. You know, I'm only working 8, 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. It's going to be a little quick video. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to update every hour, though. Just because it's only a four-hour video. I'm usually working like six, seven, eight hours, you know. But, yeah, I'm about to pull up at the warehouse right now. Look like it's one, it's one, it's three drivers on when I check. They had three drivers on. But, yeah, we about to get in here and see what we can do with this little four hours, you know. Pull it up. I don't know if I get the order before her or the other way around. Yeah, I sold my little, I sold the tank today, man. Man, that car, man, that car represented, you know, it was only a car, a little raggedy ass shit, Ford Fusion. It was 2006, but man, that car gave me a different mindset, gave me a different job set. You know, I ain't never delivered stuff, and not to say I got a whole glamorous delivery job right now, but it paid the bills. In my mind, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, like. I worked in the factories for at least the last shit, man, eight to nine years, seven to eight, nine years, and uh, never liked doing it, man, never liked doing it, you know, and just to put myself through that misery for that long, to me, I just feel so free right now doing this go puff, you know, making these little videos, driving around, you know, just chilling, you know, growing as a person, you know what I'm saying, I'm able to, like, listen to audio books, I'm, able, I'm sitting there trying to learn Spanish, like, but it all started with that uh, Kaiser job that I had. It was a 12-hour shift. You work by yourself, which I like. So I would just audio books, audio books, learning different skill sets, learn the eBay stuff. I, you know, it just be different people you bump into throughout your life. Like, I was meant to meet that dude, Steve Merton. He taught me about the eBay. You know, when he told me he made 40 k on the side of working, I said, oh, he had my interest. I never, I knew about eBay only buying stuff. I never knew nobody was selling and making no 40K or six figures off of eBay. So I was meant to take through the, that little path, excuse me. I meant, I was meant to go through there and meet certain people, you know what I'm saying? And just, man, I'm just good. You know, I'm rambling a little bit, but I'm feeling good, it's Friday. I'm back sober, I ain't had a drink, I ain't smoked no tobacco. Oh shit, let me get my, I did hit my little, Little shit before I got into work, I ain't hit in the car, but uh, yeah, you know, I ain't smoked no tobacco, I ain't drunk no alcohol, I still ain't ate no meat in 33 days, man. God is good, but yeah, we sitting up here at the warehouse. I'm gonna be back on y'all at uh, nine o'clock. I'm gonna do an update every hour, document the grind, document the hustle, rookie riches, go puff grind. What's going on? Welcome back to the nine o'clock update well it's really 9 15 you know it's been a good little hour though i'm at uh 35 dollars i think 35 dollars and 60 cent i believe not bad for an hour 15 minutes if you want to get tech but for the first hour you know i only work four hours you know what i'm saying i done did six deliveries in an hour for that $35, you know, go puff me up and down like that sometimes, you know. But yeah, I'm on my way back to the warehouse right now. I just did a three order run. All of them was over here on on campus. You know, campus be going crazy. You know, I'll say out of the majority of our orders, what I do or everybody else do probably at least 60 to 70 percent of them come out here on campus you know like for real but uh yeah i'm on my way back to the warehouse i just wanted to give an update on what i did in that first hour you know i'm listening to les brown tonight les brown one of them uh guys when i was listening to in them factories that got me up out of there you know like he said most heart attacks happen to people going to jobs at, i mean at eight in the morning going to do something that they hate to do but just that they felt like they were stuck and had to do type of shit just hearing little quotes like that and then, you know and how i started feeling physically and mentally made me shit get the hell away from that kind of shit you know what i'm saying i ain't got the most glamorous job at all but i'm out here go puffing delivering these people they little puffy snacks and i'm able to make a living and i'm able to create my schedule and do other 
have other ambitions instead of just being so tired from working a 10, 12 hour day, mandatory six days, seven days, whatever, five days is too many. You know what I'm saying? So you don't even have no energy and no drive to do nothing else. I, you know, I be, sometimes I be so salty that I let myself do that shit for so long. That should have killed your ambition, man. You know what I'm saying? If you kids, you start out in ambitious. You don't start out, you know, just mandatory other than school, mandatory place to be and shit like that. That shit sucked the life out you, man, doing something that you hate. No disrespect to the lifelong career of uh, faculty people. There's a lot of people generation of family that been able to provide for their family like that but me my heart my spirit will never in that you know but i ain't want to talk too long on my way back to the warehouse i'm at uh 35 dollars and 60 something cent i got the chocolate you know i'm feeling good you know it's friday you know i'm back sober like i said last time but yeah document the grind document the hustle you know october 23rd right now we out here getting good money 35 dollars an hour We'll be back on y'all at uh shit 10 15 and i'm probably gonna do it every hour 15 after so it lag like that Peace. what's going on welcome back to the uh 10 15 update you know i'm two hours in shit you know we're doing damn good i them did 11 deliveries man damn update i've been on the clock two hours right now i'm at 67 dollars and 87 cents you know that's like making 33 33 90 something an hour right now and that's for two hours worth of work there's something going on up here police fire trucks down was an accident up here damn man up here dang i ain't but yeah right now we making uh 33 dollars an hour right now i only got like a little under two hours left you know Gonna keep documenting the grind, document the hustle. Your boy Ricky Rich is out here on that go puff grind, getting his money. You know, I wear everything. All right, whoever was in that accident, but I'm on my way back to the warehouse to see, you know, check my fly paper, see what's sticking. You know, my nigga fly guy would say, I'm gonna get you something. You know, I might be above some of y'all heads, y'all might not know it. No, my real ones gonna relate with people my age, demographic definitely gonna be able to relate. But yeah. Be back on y'all 11 15. Right now, we at $67. I think we're gonna do $100 in four hours a day. That's 25 an hour for you know the mathematicians. But yeah, I'm on my way back right now to see. I'm gonna let y'all know where we end up at 11 o'clock. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, Rookie Riches. You know, this is the 11 15 update. You know, I only had a four hour shift today. I came in for eight to eight to 12. You know, little minor shift. If you keep doing this, I'm about to start only doing four-hour blocks. Cause right now, I'm at uh, I done did 15 orders, 15 orders for $89.87. You know, that come out to like 29 or some change, about about 29.90. About 29.90 an hour. You know, almost $30 an hour. For three hours, you know, shit, it's good money, you know. Shit, it ain't block money, but you know, it's good money, you know, $30 an hour. Shit, I know niggas in there right now complaining on they break, you know. Man, man, the time they jive and all that won't do nothing about it, man. I had to get, get away from that. Man, that's, that energy was fucking me. Everybody in there don't like their job, you know what I'm saying? But right now, I ain't going to get off topic right now. But after three hours, we almost making $30 an hour. We might as well give us the 30 that extra nickel. We had $29.95 or something like that. You know, after three hours, I got one more hour left of work. I'm on my way back to the warehouse. See what's going on. Every time I pull up, they got four or five orders for me. I done did 15 on the night in three hours. That's, you know, that's averaging like five orders an hour. You know what I'm saying? You get 325 per delivery with GoPuff though. Every delivery you do with GoPuff, you get 325 plus whatever the uh, customer tip you. You know, I'm the tip and I tonight. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna let y'all see what the tips came out to. I think I did all right on the tips tonight. <laughs> tips, that's like some stripper shit. But uh, yeah, document the grind, document the hustle. GoPuff grind, we on our way back to the shop right now. I'm gonna let y'all know where I end at an hour. 
Welcome back to the channel, Rookie Riches, your boy No Low. Back with that uh, closing video. You know, I did a four hour shift today. I don't ever do it on a Friday at that. I remember I did a uh, five hour shift a couple weeks ago. I couldn't even crack a hundred dollars. You know, I did a four hour shift today. Uh, what did I do? I did a four hour shift today. I did 18 deliveries. I just came off my last delivery. I'm on my way to my cousin's so house, go smoke some of this shit, be real quick. You know, uh, shit. But I did 18 deliveries for $107 and I think 62 cents. Uh, that came out to like $29. $29.90. Cent. You know, nighttime drivers on. You know, had a nice little day for a four hour shift. Man, if I could do that, shit. Four times a week, 20, 20 hours. Shit, make four hundred dollars for twenty hours, man. Shit, oh, I think I'll stop doing all them seven long ass days I'll be doing. You know, but I think uh, with this, with today, this put me at about, you know, I'm already over uh six hundred dollars. I still got tomorrow and Sunday to work. You know. Shit, we gonna try to see if we can get another thousand, you know. I know uh, a couple weeks ago I did 10.91. You know, that's the most I ever made for Go Puff. You know, document the grind, document the hustle. But yeah, I'm on my way to Cuz house. Stop at this store real quick. Grab me old Rello. Vegan wrap something to roll this up. Man, you know, feel good, man. No drink, no smoke. You know, thanks, she got that. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get off this camera before I say too much. But, yeah, had a nice little night for four hours, $107. That's, you know, that's not bad money. You're almost $27 an hour on the Go Puff grind. You know how we do it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get back on y'all tomorrow. Saturday morning video. Yeah, peace and love, help and wisdom, you know. Get to it.